guys, welcome to another F1 2021 My Team video here on Chesnoy Plays. We're into the second half of season number three. It's time for the Belgian Grand Prix today. In different weather conditions, the specifics of which we're not too sure because they didn't give me an email. But once we get to the track, we'll know exactly what we're dealing with for quali and the race. Even though that now says that it's fully dry for quali, we know that it's not. Interchangeable conditions for quali and for the race as well. Someone mentioned in chat a moment ago about uh, parts, but I think we're okay here for now for the parts that we've got on the car. I will probably put fresh engine parts in for Monza, but for Spa and, in the, and the Netherlands, I'm quite happy with what we've gotten so far. Uh, we obviously had a tough time in Great Britain and in Hungary, and we have bitten the bullet. We are biting said bullet, and we've lowered the difficulty to 98 from 100 to see if we can make it a bit more realistic considering the state of the car that I'm in. It was a little, like Great Britain, you know that the AI are a bit OP anyway, but you can still kind of manage it. But Hungary was a real eye opener. When I qualified 12th and was a full second of even 11th place, that's when you go, something needs to change. So we're biting the bullet, we're lowering it to 98 and hopefully it can add a little bit more excitement back to the savers. The past couple of races have been a little bit lonely out on track. So fingers crossed, Spa will offer us, well, Typically, what is usually a good Grand Prix. Drop the video a like if you're enjoying, of course. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more. We'll head to the session and get underway. Uh, so, Quali. It says dry now. Whereas, it did say yesterday, rain. In the race, it's going to start wet. Oh, dear. Oh, a very wet start to the race here at Spa. That will dry up. Maybe after about 20 minutes or so. Ugh, half an hour in, still wet. 45 minutes in, still wet. Although air temperature is improving. And then dry towards the an hour mark. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so it's going to be wet for quite a while in the actual Grand Prix itself. But whilst we're, uh, whilst we're here at the track on a dry day... Let's try and give ourselves some extra resource points to max out durability as well, shall we? George! <laughs> so, practice one. We're not sure whether the difficulty is Good right or not yet. Qualifying will give us a you better idea. Are you saving your car for the main event? Well, I mean, I spent quite a bit practicing. Today? More than happy, though. Is there anything that you think gave you the edge over your rivals? Uh, I'll say durability just to improve the morale there, because that's paint all, on we've, the walls today. all we've got to do to improve. Just uh, some I'll just wait for the replay. I definitely hit the wall Appreciate a couple of times, time. but it's not a problem. How long to the race? We just need to do qualifying, crew boy. So we'll, it'll be... Uh, brrr, I don't know. 20 minutes, maybe? Depending on how quickly we... How far we get in qualifying. Now, we think it's going to be dry in quali, but we'll find out when we get there. We expect it to be dry in qualifying, but time will tell. That should be better. We're not out of sync anymore. 2,346 resource points is great. George is nearly level 17. I'm nearly level 16. need to be careful, actually, because when George goes up to... Uh, Level 17, his contract value will go up as well. We need to make sure we've got enough money to be able to afford that, to redo it. Right, we think it's going to be dry for the majority of the session. Just overcast, so we'll go out on softs. Once, we should be okay in this session to get through on just the one set. But I'll do, it, I'll do the lap at the end of the session to ensure we get the best of the track conditions. What well, damn. I'm not sure where that put us, but it was a relatively quick lap compared to those back runners. I think I said P3 there. I think I said P3. Let's have a quick look. Uh, yes, P3. I am nearly two tenths faster than George and not far off Lewis and Max. Hmm, let's see. Let's see what it's like in Q2 and Q3, because they always take a step up, don't they, in the latter sessions. And obviously, I tend to not. 
So we'll wait and see what happens in the next two sessions. But the difficulty might be about right. We'll see what it's like race pace wise. But I'm going to go out on the same set again. Put a bank lap in this time. It doesn't matter what tyres we use in Q2 now because we know that it's going to be... We know that it's going to be a wet start. So we won't be starting the race on whatever tyres we set our fastest lap time in in this session. Going significantly quicker, so this certainly will be us through to Q3. Right, I don't stuff up the end of the lap, which we haven't done. A 138 something, please. A 139 flat puts us P4. That's certainly good enough to get us through to Q3, I hope, anyway. Skip the repair time. Our damage is under four. That's probably going to happen during the race as well, but never mind. We'll just have to deal with the damage because evidently the curbs here are quite high and you do ride some of them. Oh, dearie me. Wasn't anywhere near as comfortably through to Q3 as I thought we might be. They've managed to get into the 137s. Checo has turned up in Q2. <whistles> okay. Time for us to do the same in Q3 then. I think George got a five place grid penalty, annoyingly. Through to Q3 we go. Our last lap of qualifying. Let's nail the bus stop chicane. Not bad, not bad. A full second faster than previously. We're gonna do 138.6. It's probably not that good compared to everybody else that was in the 37s. We might be top seven with that. Maybe? Seventh or eighth? We are... Ba -ba 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 ninth. It's time to remind ourselves right there with our teammate, though. So George is... Well, we're matching George now, so... Presumably, that's where the car should be. But still 1.3 seconds off Lando and Lewis. Which is pretty mad. But we're right with George, so that should be where we are, right? In theory, we should be matching our teammate. Hopefully in the race, we can go significantly further forward from there. Although we are starting in the wet. The very, very wet. It's going to be wet for a while, too. Uh, I'll say durability stuff. How will not making Q3 affect your strategy tomorrow? Uh, we did make Q3. Weird. Right. Well, that's everything. I'm good, thank you, Nath. How are you, my man? Checo out qualifies me again. <laughs> That's annoying, isn't it? Never mind. Oh, George taking a five place grid penalty is going to be rubbish, too. So he'll start 13th. We'll start 8th, unless there are any other grid penalties. Uh, well, it's going to be wet for the majority of the race, supposedly. But hopefully that isn't too accurate and it will dry up a little bit earlier than that. Thanks for following, Hans. Welcome to the channel, mate. Oh, it is, it is wet, though. It is very Let's wet at the beginning the driver grid order of this race weekend. Race. Lewis, Hamilton lines up on Lewis on pole, position. Lando second. Lando I can't believe how fast they went. We we're much closer than we were in Hungary, today, but we have still not sure Verstappen. how competitive Ricard, we are overall. Perez. The fact we're right with George pace-wise gives me... Confidence that we're at the right level, but still, we're supposedly in the best car on the grid, so surely we should be still higher than 8th and ninth. Russell, the only one to take a penalty as well, which is nice. Oh, no, never mind. Carlos Sainz taking a penalty too, although I think he was I think he was 10th in that last session. He qualified behind us. Raikkonen and Mazepin. So, very, very, very wet race. Oh, we're starting on Inters. It's not full wet. It's not full wet. I can't underfuel the car, annoyingly. Even though in the wet you want to underfuel the car, it won't let me. It's annoying. So that's what our strategy will be. Start on inters, run the inters as far as we can, and then either go soft, soft, or mediums to the end, depending on when the rain stops. We may even find ourselves pitting for a second set of inters before the rain disappears, potentially. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. But we may well end up having to do that. We'll wait and see what Jeff says over the radio with regards to when the rain's going to end. But 
Let's start a prediction. We're starting P8. Let's say, will we finish P5 or higher? P5 or higher? Let me know. And I'll have a quick toilet break. And then we'll uh, go swimming. Oh, they held us for ages there. Oh, my God. Wheel spin of death. Ah! To avoid Schwartzman like mad, I hear contact on inside. Someone hit someone. Ocon's managed to squeeze past us. Oh my god, they're two abreast everywhere going into O'Rouge and Radion. Understeer, I think is the word. Understeer. Jesus Christ. Come on, it's gone defensive. I don't know when to break. Down to 11th. Jesus. That was mad. I've got a car on my inside, but we're able to hold him off. Who is it? It's Gasly. I'll try and take Callum lot here. Into the chicane. Oh, he's slow there. That put me right off. Ah! Stop, car. Well, that was mental, but we got it done. <laughs> Jeez Louise! Use the battery quite a bit. Talk to me about the weather, Jeff. Forecast suggests the rain is going to be lightening up over the next 10 to 15 minutes or so. You should start finding more grip as we clear the standing water. Inters seem like the fastest tyre for now. Agreed. George isn't necessarily making his way through very well either. Some information on Russell. They have an issue with oh, car. that's why. Christ, slow. literally. Just as they say, oh, George isn't making much progression. They're like, oh, he's got a problem with his car. Well, that'll be why then, won't it? Fuck. Never mind, eh, George? Of course, not going to help the Constructors' Championship, is it? He's already taken a grid penalty, and now, presume, one of the things that he didn't change is now giving him a problem. Damn it, George! I'm going to try and make a move on Ocon, but with Carlos Sainz right there, I'm, oh, I've not really got the opportunity. Thank you for the other, another 20 minutes. Gotta love wet races. Ah! Love-hate relationship with wet races. Love-hate relationship, I think. Thank you for the bits, though, mate. But yeah, we've definitely improved through pool. And thank you for the follow, Af Delling, as well. Welcome to the channel, mate. Hard to tell at the moment about the difficulty in hot high speed through these corners because it's wet. The front runners were still mad fast in qualifying in the dry, so presumably no, it hasn't solved it. I was still 1.3 seconds off Lewis. Science is slow compared to the front seven, you're right. Not sure why though, I don't know whether he has a little bit of damage, he's just not pitting because of it, or... Whether he's just not that quick here. One of the Alfa Romeos is well last. <laughs> I might have a run on Esteban here. I might. Though you break, they break so late. You break so late for this turn. It's so hard to actually outbreak someone in there. He's gone defensive here. We could get him here around the outside, maybe, if I can hold on. Because we will have the inside line for the next turn. The corner with no name. Up the inside of Ocon we go, and that's P9. That's been a few laps in the making, but we've managed to make the move. Cleanly, too. Enjoyed that one. That was a good move. Set Esteban up nicely. I don't know if Carlos is carrying any damage. Sorry I don't know if he'll head. tell me about it either. They're on fresh inters. Their tyres are five laps old. We think they've got one more stop. Car ahead has some minor front wing oh, he does damage, have some front wing damage. Pace. The time last lap was a 154.6. You're gaining by three tenths a lap. Science Good does work. have some minor front wing damage. That's why he's so slow. I wasn't sure if it'd tell me when I asked there or not, but evidently they do. We might 
have a bit of a run on him here as well, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get him into the chicane because I'm not so good at judging how much to let off by around this corner. I'm not going to get him into the bus stop. I'm not close enough, nor do I trust the car enough in the wet weather. Oh! Too much power on the kerb. Don't fuck up your exit at the bus stop this time, Chez. There we go. Personal best lap of the race. After seven laps of the 44. Eight seconds to Schwartzman now. Can't really see much behind Carlos at the moment. Could be setting him up for a move here, though. He's gone defensive. I'm not going to be able to get round, though. But he's going to be offline and slow. So I will try the same move on him as we tried on Esteban Ocon. Well, it's not quite going to work by the looks of things. Not on this occasion. Sight's holding the position well. Good defending from the Spaniard, but it is costing us even more time to that front group. It did say the rain was going to last for the majority of the first half of the race. So we have to, we just have to expect it to rain till about lap 22 or so. Make a mistake, please, Carlos. He won't make a mistake, will he? He's driving really well, Carlos Sainz. There's more and more and more time to that front group. They're nearly 10 seconds now. It always makes the difference. And that's just to the gaggle of four. Then there's a another gap to the podium positions. He's gone defensive into the bus stop. We managed to force him wide, but I forced myself wide. We're through. Oh, we had to work hard for that. My God. Deary me. That was such effort. Ten laps it's taken us to get past Sainz and Ocon. But they were both driving so well. It was practically impossible to get past them. Nearly lost it there. Science is probably going to close on me now. I have to use the battery. No, please. Thank you. It's starting to brighten up a bit, isn't it? It's definitely starting to brighten up a bit, and the rain is stopping. The rain is definitely slowing down. The question is, can we actually close on Schwartzman, or are we not? Are we still too slow? Even though we're past Science and Knock On, it might still be too slow. To be fair. Set mediums as my next tyre. to the car in front is 10.8 seconds. 10.8 seconds for about three laps, Jeff. I can't seem to close on Schwartzman. We're definitely pulling away from those behind. But he, just, just a clear sign of how much time we lost compared to those in front, behind, Science and Ocon. If we'd have been past Science and Ocon, we'd have been right, right with, probably those in front because the gap is kind of maintaining itself so we could have been much closer ETA on this rain there you go that's the message we needed to know Just keep your concentration out there that's what we needed to know 10 minutes left of this rain 52 8 9 0 that's good that's a good lap thank you cactus for the 10th month mate let me read the message. I'm back. Sorry, it's been a while. Won't be around much to left hand starts. Not to worry, Matt. How frequently will the My Player series be released and when? Sorry if I missed it in the video. Uh, every weekday, the My Player, the My Player series will be out every weekday on Facebook, Monday through Friday. So there's another one tomorrow, and another one Wednesday, and another one Thursday. Although I haven't recorded Thursdays yet, I'm waiting for your feedback on the first episode or two. Yeah, probably about 18 or 19. Probably about 18 or 19 for the pit stop. 
But you can see it's drying up so much so that so much so now that we're actually seeing personal bests each lap in each sector. So definitely we're gaining on those in front as well as you can see. Checo now under 12 seconds. Schwartzman nearly under 10. Oh, it, that, it depends though, Frog Gang, because if they go soft, they might be going soft, soft. And I don't, I, in which case, I wouldn't want to run the medium tyre at all. I wouldn't want to run the risk of being slow on the mediums, then be faster on the softs, if they're just going to be able to go soft, soft. So I'm, I might go softs next, just to ensure that I don't get left behind. And then we might run the mediums later. Alternatively, we might be able to go soft, soft, but I doubt it. Depends how quickly the, the weather dries up. I, I might be able to do mediums to the end, but they probably won't last. They'll give me an idea of what they think I should do when they give me the um, when they give me the update. When they're like, a new strategy available on your MFD. It'll give me an idea of what they want me to do, and then we can kind of make a decision from there. It's, it's still it's still too wet. I just I just eat through my through my soft tires and be spinning everywhere. It's still too wet. By the end of this lap, though, I'm pretty sure by the end of this lap it'll be soft weather time, soft tire time. Sorry, soft weather time. Nobody else behind us pit yet. Let's say we'll box this lap. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. We'll box this lap for a set of softs. Nobody else has pit. Oh, I don't know. I have got my wing set to lower, thank you, Kyle. Just put up the fastest lap of the race so far. I still don't know if it's too wet. There's still some spray at the bottom end of the track, that's the thing. Like, it's relatively dry in some places and still definitely too damp in others. Now, we may see some drivers in on this lap, but purely because the game rep... It might just be that... Not bug. Well, I guess it is technically a bug. Where the, the drivers pit when they don't need to and switch to, to Inters again. The Mercedes is in, as is a Red Bull. Now, what they go to will determine what we do. I think they're pitting again for more Inters, which is unfortunately just not the right call. Because lap 22 was when we were due to pit for another set of Inters, they're doing the same. But it's the wrong time to pit for Inters. They should just extend this stint and then they'd be fine. It brings them all, brings those guys back to us. We just have to hope that, that the rest of those front runners also pit for Inters and we can just kind of take advantage of what is effectively a bug, really. Because there's no point in them peeing for instance if it's going to be dry. But it's been that way for eons with the way that the AI pit. Seconds. So it's obviously something that they either don't want to fix or can't fix. But we're up to sixth, so yay us. Do we think mediums can go to the end? Do we think mediums can go to the end, yes or no? You reckon go soft, soft? I think mediums can go to the end though. And at only a second slower a lap. Thank you, Nikita. We probably wouldn't lose a pit stop. I'm surprised it's taken so long for the track to dry up. Really surprised. George is in the pits now, presumably changing to. Is a second a lap faster than you. Presumably changing to another set of inters. No, DRS enabled. There you go. On the MFD. George has timed the pit stop just right. He reckons. Oh, I'm not concentrating properly. He reckons soft, soft. He reckons soft, soft. Do we do the same? Do we soft, soft, or do we mediums? Do we soft, soft, or do we mediums? I reckon mediums. I'm, I'm of the, I'm in agreement. If I match everyone around me, then I'm just not gonna not gonna do anything, am I? I'm not gonna go anywhere, so I've got to try something alternate. No, it's no point. It was no point risking it and pitting early. Like the the dry, the wet weather lasted a good four or five laps longer than we expected it to. Complete. Go now. That was our last stop. 
No more scheduled pit stops. Really? Just gonna take me under braking like that? Are you serious? It said the medium tyre was a second a lap slower. Even if I went soft, soft, I'd still have been left behind by those in front. So I just, my only alternative was to try this strategy. Yeah, safe to go at this stage doesn't help. Safe to go at this stage just means everyone, everyone pits, not just me. What I need is for everyone else to pit, then there to be a safety car like three or four laps later, for me to be able to pit and have soft tyres that are younger than everyone else's. Hello, Nicholas. Excuse me, Mickey boy. Thank you, mate. Grazie. They're in the pits now for their soft tyres. Rephrase, they're out the pits now from those soft tyres. George is in the pits. George At least the Leclerc pits. is anyway. Ricardo hasn't pit yet. 2.8 seconds. Well, that's not going to last, is it? <laughs> I, uh, somehow I don't think an Alonso S defence is going to work against Charles Leclerc on a fresh set of softs. He will probably, he will certainly, have the grip to just quite simply drive all the way around me. Without any worry or care in the world whatsoever. Here's Charlesy. Uh, they're looking into it, Jamie, but I've been able to rectify it, thankfully. I know I won't be able to follow Leclerc to the others, there's no way. There comes Ricardo out behind us as well. They will just quite simply be too fast. God. <laughs> Round the outside of Puon. There's a thumbnail. Sorry, Charles. Bit of a wheel bang. But we're alright. Six laps. Yellow flag somewhere in front, not sure what for. And he was gone deep. Another wheel bang. Esteban Ocon's out of the session. Ocon. It looks like the problem is terminal. They're retiring the car. Oh, fucking hell. No, Esteban Ocon's retired. Trying to race wheel to wheel here with Daniel, but it's so difficult. If I hadn't got the front wing damage, I'd have just let him go. Yellow flag means he won't be able to overtake me. Just can't deal with him round poo on. Schwartzman sets the fastest lap of the race. We're about to start the final lap of the race. So, we have to hold off Daniel for this one more lap. Final lap, final lap of the race. We're and if we're able to, if we're able to, three seconds. then the decision to go onto the mediums, not soft, soft, was a good one. But Daniel is so close to us through here now, I don't think we're going to be able to hold him off. 
Daniel's probably going to get me down the straight and we're going to lose P8 on the last lap. There's four laps Devo. Four remaining. We've held it. We've held it at the end of the Kemmel straight. Now we just need to hold it for the rest of the lap. Lando Norris wins the Grand Prix. Props to Lando. GG, dude. It's been super tough. We might not yet do it still. Come wide there. Alright, it's been super tough to hold off Daniel, but somehow we've managed to do it. If I'd have gone soft, soft and matched everyone else's strategy after the rain, I don't think it would have it would have made any difference to our overall position of eighth. But we are going to hold on to P7 by about three quarters of a tenth of a second. P7 race, race finish. P7 race finish. We had to work for that. George gets driver of the day. Congratulations to him. He gets a, some points, but what doesn't help. Yeah, soft, soft maybe would have maybe gained us another position, but I wouldn't have thought so because I'd have just, How do you think they were able to I'd have just like kept the distance. I wouldn't have caught them up. They'd have been quicker than me on the same same compound, I think. Checo second, which sucks. Lewis only third, but his lead at the top of the driver's standings will extend. Eighth place start, a seventh place finish. I'm still seventh. George drops to fourth. He's 56 points off the top now. Lewis is starting to extend the lead. The constructors is still close-ish, but rather evidently, rather evidently, 98 is still too high, with the difficulty for us to adequately compete with the supposed quality of the car but yes you're right matt getting stuck behind science and knock on at the beginning of the uh the beginning of the stint really really hurt we perhaps could have finished slightly higher so let me go to the settings and in the netherlands we'll try 96 in the netherlands we'll try 96 because in qualifying i was still 1.3 seconds off everyone else uh we will renegotiate with george though We'll renegotiate with George. What does he want? He wants a spec 2 aerodynamics. We're fine. Team Acclaim is fine. We can probably go with the high risk and still get him. Hopefully he'll accept. He's enjoying his time here. And he has accepted. So George will be with us for the rest of the season. We've got some sponsors that are running out. I'm just quite simply going to renew those. Because they continually are the best ones that we've gotten. I am going to need to re-put them back on the car though. It was Asiatic there. That was AII. That was AII. Actually, does how does Asiatic there? No. Nothing really looks right there, does it? Guest is fine there. That was Asiatic. Was AII. AII might look better there, actually. Go Asiatic there. Guest. And then... Asiatic on the wings. There we go. Sponsors back on the car. So we'll we'll dip the difficulty to we'll dip the difficulty to There you go, that is unlocked. We'll dip the difficulty to 96 for the Netherlands and we'll just see how we get on. We only need 300 resource points to be able to afford the turbo upgrade. We may get that before the Dutch Grand Prix, maybe. Okay. We had the new parts come through the fabrication Maybe. process. Maybe. No. We have them with us for the next so conference. let's see what the weather's going to be like in the Netherlands. Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> Ow! There goes my bottle of water. Thankfully it didn't spill anywhere. That could have been 
dangerous and expensive. Oh, and breathe a sigh of relief. We haven't just spilt that all over the PC. Right, in different weather conditions. Still not giving me a... Just give me a weather email. It's all I want. All I want is a weather email. Mixed conditions for quali. Mixed conditions for the race on 96 difficulty. It will be intriguing again in the Netherlands. But we'll leave the we'll leave the parts as they are. And we'll put fresh parts in for the Italian Grand Prix. Season 1 in the Netherlands. We finished 19th. Season 2 in the Netherlands. We finished 4th apparently. How did we manage a fourth in the Netherlands before? I'd have to go back and watch the uh, watch the footage. A seventh place in Belgium, though, will dip the difficulty down to 96 and hopefully be as competitive as we're supposed to be. It's a, it has been an ego thing with me trying to stick to 100 difficulty, and I've powered through as long as I could. But it's got to the point where I am so uncompetitive with those at the front when I shouldn't be with the car I'm in. Uh, we have to dip it. We have to dip it. So that will do us for this YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it very much indeed. Join me tomorrow for the Dutch Grand Prix. Drop the video a like if you've enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on more. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook for the My Player Save. That goes for you guys on stream as well. Follow Facebook. Follow me on Facebook for the FIFA 22 My Player Save. But follow me on YouTube, Chesnoid Gaming, for the Chesnoid FC Save, which is back. Oh, thank the Lord. Right, that's all for this YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.